I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? This is Matt once again. What about to another video? This is another review, this time for frame by frame. If anyone wants to request any other type of videos or topics or random stuff, what have you, free for feel free to send them either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both things are down below in the info box. Now this is for I guess this lengthy music video is pretty much what it is. A film called Downfall High. By Machine Gun Kelly. It's 50 minutes long. It's on YouTube. Now. I have heard of Machine Gun Kelly. I have not heard of his music. Honestly. After listening for 50 minutes. I don't really care about the guy's music. It's not the worst thing I've heard. I mean hell. I'd listen to it over Cardi B. Or something else. But. Yeah, this music just isn't for me. I'll stick with Metallica, ACDC, Tupac, or something else entirely. Linkin Park. So, the songs are not my cup of tea. Forget Me, Forget You. That seemed like one song. It was just that, Forget Me, Forget You. Forget Me Not, whatever. The movie... This emo kid, and I'm going to call him emo because each song is about how hates this, hates that, hate this, hate that. I hate love. I hate you. Just, I'm, I remember I was watching, I'm going, God, this kid's more emo than... If people think Linkin Park... Is emo. This has a tenfold in spades. Rest in peace to the leads of Lincoln Park. Because I really enjoyed those songs. I really enjoyed Chester as a singer. And those songs I got more out of than these. I mean this. It starts out with him in a hospital. And to be honest. The movie has some decent lighting. Decent camera work. Where it's panning throughout the hospital. Our lead has cut his ear off, and then it takes, pla takes place about eight months before for the rest of it. I like the transition where you see eight months before on a piece of paper, and the camera pans, and someone walks off and tears the piece of paper, throws it away. That's a nice transition. <laughs> it does this thing which gets off kilter a bit, where... It plays around with the frame of the film where at times it's in widescreen, pristine picture, then it'll cut to more raw footage and it's full screen. So it goes widescreen, then it'll go full screen, then widescreen again, then full screen, which they're more whole movies. <clears throat> I can see what he was trying to do, but it, I don't know, it just gets a bit this back and forth. 
I'm just a bit off kilter about, a bit discombobulated about it. The acting sucks. Later on, when the the lead goes, is that her purse? Yeah, she was my friend. She wanted me to have it. Because throughout this story, to sum it up, he's an emo bitch. This girl, for some reason, likes him. They go out. Most of the songs are about not caring about love, not being into love. Forget me, forget you. Pretty much, fuck me, fuck you. That's the gist of most of the songs. Then she gets pregnant. I thought she had told the guy, and that's why the guy started ignoring her. No. The guy just started ignoring her, just, I guess, because he's a fucking bitch. I guess. I don't know. He just started ignoring her. So, even though she did nothing wrong, she buys him a fucking guitar. I think it was like a blue guitar. And he pa she painted pink or red because there's pink all over. The guy, like, tears a pink backpack. I don't know, maybe he has a fucking My Little Pony obsession. I don't know. Not that there's anything wrong with it. If you're not, not that there's anything wrong with it. But at least admit it. It's like this guy's in the closet for that. <laughs> be free, admit it at least. It's not my cup of tea, but if it is, be free. Fuck whoever wants to bitch about it. Fuck them in the moles. If you like My Little Pony, if you like that stuff, say fuck it, I do. Don't let anyone tell you anyway. If they have a problem, with it, tell them to go fuck themselves. But anyway, this, I don't know what what his problem is with this lady. Because she did nothing wrong. Give you your sorry ass the time of day. Just, if I, just, I hated this lead guy. This emo bitch. I don't know the person in real life. I'm talking about the character and the slim, paper-thin storyline. So, she buys him a guitar, not that he fucking deserves it. Oh, well, thank you. She gets in her car, she hasn't told him that she's pregnant, and she dies in her car crash. And, of course, he's broken up a bar about it. He should be. He acted like a dick, ignored her for no fucking reason. He wanders around. He'll sleep at her grave site. At times when the songs play, there's some really stupid shit in the background. Like at one time, when they're playing a song, there's a fucking ballet dancers. I don't know why. The worst one, there's a time when this lead guy decides to make a band. And so they make a band. Oh, and before I forget this, he makes a band, but then goes, well, I don't want anyone to hear us. I don't want anyone to hear these songs. Because the guy's like, wow, let's put it up on YouTube or whatever. Wow, look at all the hits we did. You uploaded without my permission? I don't want people to hear us. So you start a band, but you don't want people to hear you. That's like me making this, but I don't want people to see it. That's how stupid it is. I don't make this video, but I don't want anyone to actually see the video. That's this fucking guy's mentality. We don't make a band, but I don't want anyone to hear us. So I'm stuck with this stupid, emo, bitch, dipshit. Oh, I was talking about when Machine Gun Kelly and them are just a little bit of story, then the band singing. Machine Gun Kelly and them. A little bit of the story, then Machine Gun Kelly singing. At one point, they're in a bathroom, and you have a group of people doing this, worshipping the porcelain gods. Imagine this is the toilet. Just a bunch of people dunking their heads in and out of the toilet. I, I, I don't know what symbolism, maybe... It's full of shit. Just like this fucking movie's full of shit. I don't know. I just wanted... I, I remember watching going, everyone should just go do a fucking train spotting. Do a fucking train spotting. Go all the way down and disappear from the movie forever. 
I think the last time I saw one of these was the Cardi B one. At least this is 50 minutes long. At least there's that. And I just say the songs, not really the lyrics, but some of the beats were not too bad. Some of the beats were better than Cardi B's fucking beats. So at least you had that going for it. And it being 50 minutes, not an hour and 50 minutes. I give credit to that. So the kid who starts a band but he doesn't want anyone to hear his fucking songs. Uh, he starts a band but then I guess he still can't get over the death of the one he loves. Sees someone with his former girlfriend's purse. Goes up to the girl and says, you, you have a purse? And the way this girl says his dialogue. Yes, she was my best friend. Are you on fucking Valium? Do you, do you, do you need a pep up? You need a cup of coffee? You need some caffeine? Something else? A little electricity? Put some fire in your performance? I know you're just making some shitty fucking Machine Gun Telly music video. I love how the advertising says a once in a, as if it's a unique experience. No, the Cardi B and others have done the same fucking thing. You know what? How about this? How about we go watch Pink Floyd's The Wall instead? Better music, better visuals, better movie. And I think that's why I did harsh on stuff like this. I'm like, you know what? You can waste your time watching this. Or you wipe. Watch Pink Floyd's The Wall. Watch Grease. Watch a bunch of other musicals. Little Shop of Horrors. And then it gets to graduation where it looked like it cost five bucks with a couple bed sheets behind. And the kid goes up and he decides to cut his ear off. I don't know why. If you developed it where he was tired of hearing people, he was tired of listening to people. And that's the symbolism of cutting his ear off because he's not going to hear them. He's not going to listen to them anymore. Or if it's one of those where he's going crazy, he keeps hearing his loved one. He keeps hearing his loved one. So in a state of insanity, he cuts his ear or ears off. No. He just. Eh, cuts his ear off. You would think that within the story. It'd be his ton. Because he. He liked the scene. But he doesn't want anyone to hear us. So I'm not going to see anymore. No. I just, Why he cuts his ear off. Because he loved her. But what does that symbolize. Cutting your ear off. I mean. If you want to be. A serious. It would have been this. But they don't want to go that route. This. I, I remember watching going. Are you a fan of Andrew Scott? You don't make some necklace out of ears? Do you hear me? Is that what you're doing? Maybe a fan of Dolph Lundgren. Maybe he loves Universal Soldier. Maybe he wants to do his impression. But you know Dolph didn't cut his own ear off. He was cutting other people's ear off. So you got even that wrong. I don't know why. So you have an emo guy. Who likes to sit by, by himself in bleachers. This beautiful lady comes up and talks to him. They go out. Once in a while, Machine, Daily, Machine Gun Telly pops up to sing almost the same fucking song. Or the song seemed similar as it went on. Fuck you, fuck me, love sucks, all that stuff. Then again, he ignores the lady for no fucking reason. Finds out she's pregnant, doesn't tell him. Buys him a guitar that he doesn't fucking deserve. Guy loves the pink. Might have been red, but look pink. Loves the color pink. Goes around. She dies. He mopes. Starts a band. Doesn't want anyone to hear the band though. And then. Cuts his ear off. Like I said, positives. The lighting. Cinematography. Not too bad. Maybe people will like the different perspectives of the screen, where it's widescreen, the full screen. Maybe in another movie, I could deal with that. But here, it just came off as pretentious. Fairly pretentious. And without much of a merit reason. I'm sure, in his mind, there was a big, deep philosophical reason for doing that. I didn't see it. And I'm with a bunch of mopey fucking characters.
And then the last song is... It's whatever. That's the thing. The songs... It's not that I was angry and upset about the songs. They were just kind of whatever. I would never hear them again. I would never go download them. Again, Machine Gun Kelly just seems like not my cup of tea. So the songs were the least offensive part of, the, of it. It was the, the visual, the story. The nothing lousy story. And that's the thing. Just make a bunch of music videos. You didn't need to make this fucking movie. Make a couple music videos, fine. So be it. As a movie, it sucks. As a movie. I don't know why anyone would want to watch this movie. Why do you want to watch this story? What's the point of this fucking story? If you're a mopey emo bitch and annoy your girlfriend who's pregnant, she dies, you start bands that don't, but you don't want anyone to hear the bands and you cut your ear off for no reason. That's the story. Moral? Life sucks and then you die? I don't fucking know. Life sucks and then you go to the asylum for cutting your own ear off? But you cut your own dick off and shove it in your mouth. Or shove it up your ass for all I care. I just... If I want emo, I will watch Linkin Park. Rest in peace, Chester. I like Chester. Miss him. See, if they made a 50 minute movie, I would really... I would rather see that. Maybe because I'm more into those songs, but... I'd rather if, if them made a 50 minute movie. So... What have we learned? I'm a more of a fan of Linkin Park than Machine Gun Kelly. I'd rather watch Pink Floyd's The Wall or Grease or Little Shop of Horrors or the multitude of music video type movies, musicals. And uh, Machine Gun Kelly's not my cup of tea. So be that as it may. With that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.